All right, in your notes, would you write down a couple of habits that you'd like to change? Maybe write down a habit that you'd like to add or a habit that you'd like to eliminate, either one. Or maybe one of each. But just write, think of your life. Think of some habits you have, like being really judgmental of other people. Now, I know some of you think that that's not a habit. You think that's a psychological defect. But I just think it's a habit. So, but whatever habit you think, I'll be quiet for a minute. While you write down one or two habits that you want to either add, like adding regular exercising, adding eating more roughage, <laughs> or eliminate, not biting my fingernails, not smoking, whatever it is, some kind of a habit. I know some people think smoking is an addiction. I just think it's a habit. I know this is about your clients, but I think if you practice what I'm about to present here, it'll just be more alive for your clients. So um, give me a couple of habits that you've written down. If, just tell me some of the habits you want to change. Yeah, David, just call it out. I like to become a uh, coach to my children as opposed to a difficult parent. Uh huh. Okay, so relating to your children like a coach rather than a, a strict parent. Maybe it's just a habit. So you want to change the habitual way in which you relate to your children. OK. Now, that's really expanding the definition of what most people would call a habit. But I think it works well. That's good. Give me another example. Yes, Sage. I want excellent posture. I'm learning to stand up straight all the time. OK, standing up straight. Now, some people would think that you would have to go to a rolfer or a physical therapist or wear one of those machines that gives you biofeedback or something, or get an operation, because maybe posture is hereditary. But what if posture was just a habit? Sage says she thinks it is. She wants to develop that habit, standing up straight. What's another habit? Yes? Being self-critical. Self-critical. Now, I know that a lot of people think that that is something that you would need to go into therapy for because it's a psychological problem. But what if being self-critical was just a habit, and you could actually eliminate that habit or develop another habit, being self-supportive um, or something. But yeah, we want to eliminate the habit of being self-critical. You want to develop a habit of standing up straight. You want to develop a habit of interacting with your children more in a coaching role. What's another habit? Yes? I think I know more than the person who's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, being a know-it-all. See, some people think being a know-it-all is a genetic defect. But I don't think so. I just think it's a habit. And you could actually eliminate that habit. Barbara? Get out in nature on a more regular basis than I do. Yeah, regularly going outside, regularly getting out in nature, it's just a habit. It's just a habit. What's another habit? Yeah. I want to get in the habit of dreaming big and planning. Ooh, yeah. What if dreaming big, visualizing grand plans is just a habit? It's not something that you have because your parents had it or because you grew up in a particular culture. It's just a habit that you could develop because you want to. What if that were true? I think it is. A couple more examples, and then we'll, uh, I want to teach you something about how I think you can have all, all of that. So, but a couple more examples. Yeah, Bill. Uh, I had a, so I want to eliminate being late. Uh huh. I need to go to the gym. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, now a lot of people, though, say, yes, I, I know I'm late, but they don't consider it a habit. A lot of people say, yeah, I know I'm late, but that's just because I was born late. You know, I was, I was born in nine and a half months, I came out late, and I've been coming out late ever since, and it was just something I had since I was a child. But no, it's just a habit. And regular exercise is just a habit. Going to the gym regularly is just a habit. All right. I think so. What if happiness were a habit? Because I want to have you add a few things here as a possibility. You don't have to add them, but just consider, what if your mood was a habit? So what if you could just develop a habit of called happiness? What if intimacy was a habit? What if constantly contradicting other people was just a habit? It wasn't necessary, it was just a habit. What if the way you looked was a habit? The way you held your face? <laughs> I know that some of you think that you were born with that face, but you weren't. I've seen a lot of babies, and none of them look like you. <laughs> so. I think that you look that way because of a habitual way you've chosen to hold your face. 
And you could hold your face differently, and you'd look different. Well, anyway, maybe not.